Hi there. This is Anna Zalopo. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the ocean. Isn't that beautiful? We were here today. I was teaching Qigong. So I'm just going to do a quick video. This is for anyone who wants to be healthy, but this is especially for people who want to be mommies and daddies. Um, I've been teaching Qigong. Uh, let me see. So when COVID started, I started teaching Qigong at my office. I'm not a Qigong master, but I know enough to share with people to live healthier, happier lives, to really strengthen our immune system, increase lung capacity and all that. I've done other videos that talk about some of the benefits of Qigong. You can go on PubMed and just type in Qigong and benefits and then see what pulls up. So I'm not going to talk about that here. But I'm just going to talk about especially um, fertility. So if you are wanting to be a mom or dad, this is a video to watch. Um, I really, I wanted to do something different than just in my office and why this is so important to talk about because this is what I commit to once or twice a month um, with my busy schedule to, um, to my patients. I am committed to my patients to help people live healthy, happy lives. My first job with any of my fertility patients is to make you strong and powerful. So in the last two and a half weeks, I have had three pregnancy tests, three positive results with my patients, two natural and one IVF. And about a month ago or so, we had four pregnancy tests and four positive, three IVF, one IUI. I think this is my 16th or 17th fertility video and the first nine or so are on natural fertility. I believe the first nine are on natural fertility. I've done a video on IVF, IUI. I have all over my website what to expect as, as a fertility patient. I have a pretty strict um, screening process for fertility patients. You can't just be a fertility patient in my office. I really am committed to women and men who are, I mean, they might, it might be their last chance. One of my uh, IVF mommies, they tried for nine years and uh, she's now 14 weeks pregnant. And there is a protocol that I have. And whenever you do a system, whenever you follow a system and that system is proven to work, you should know what to expect. So no, I'm not God. So I don't, you know, bat a thousand, but that's my intention every day is to bat a thousand. My goal first and foremost is to make, I don't care if you're coming in for natural IVF or IUI. Um, I want everyone powerful. Um, so quick recap, from 99 into 2006, I took all fertility cases. 2007, I stopped taking fertility cases. I did not like taking fertility cases. And so I stopped for a whole year. And then 2008 until 2019, I only took natural fertility cases. So from 2008 until 2019, I actively took natural only fertility cases. No IUI, no IVF, nothing. And then um, something happened with one of my colleagues in 2019. He sent me uh, 90 plus percent of his uh, patient load and um, I started taking I IVF, IUI cases again. And then I started seeing again why I did not like taking those cases because it was um, the methodology that I used and I wasn't taught this in school it just wasn't a really high success rate so because I had a lot more experience in 2019 I started formulating systems that can give me the results that I want which is a healthy happy baby healthy strong happy baby um, positive pregnancy tests are great but miscarriages happen I did a video on preventing miscarriages I think I call that video solution based acupuncture um, so now it's 2021 I started practice in 1999 I have formulated systems that are pretty that give me the results they yield me the results that I want that my patients want healthy happy baby I have a protocol for natural fertility I have a protocol for IVF I have a protocol for IUI. There are methods, there's, there's a, it's not even madness, there's a systematic approach that I have. And being here doing Qigong is one of those approach, is one of the methods that I do. I am committed to my patients to making sure that you don't just get pregnant. I wanna make sure number one, that you're powerful. We can create a strong, healthy pregnancy. So then ideally you don't have a miscarriage. 
I have my children conceive, they, I conceive my children naturally at 30, 36, and 43. And I just got my um, eyebrows done. And the woman's a little older than me. And she said, wow, you look so young. And you must be super healthy. And she just assumed, she, she was sorry that she assumed it. And she didn't need to be sorry. But she, she thought that I remarried and had a baby with someone else. I said, no, my husband and I are the same age. We're a month apart. And we conceived our child at 43. And she said, you must be super healthy. And the answer is yes. It's because of the Qigong. It's because of the herbs. It's because of the acupuncture. It's because of lifestyle. It's because of you got to be in, um, you know, the better weight you are in, the less stress you put on your internal organs. I mean, there's a, there's a ton of other things, but I just want to keep this very brief and just let you know that having a healthy, strong lifestyle does matter. I taught Qigong in my office during COVID um, when the beaches were closed and all that here in California um, because I knew that dance schools and martial arts schools and gyms were closed and I didn't want people losing their minds, stuck in home. And I was just doing these, and they're, they're, on my, they're on my website at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. Qigong information is located in three different places in my website, elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. If you go under fertility, you'll see a Qigong information there. If you go under videos, you'll see Qigong information there. And then there's a private Qigong page. That's how much being active matters. Um, I do yoga. You know, I'm not an advanced yoga practitioner, but I am. I enjoy doing yoga. I love doing it. My students who do qigong, they say, "Wow, I never realized how powerfully you can breathe until I took your classes." And then they just breathe. They learn how to breathe so deeply. And um, today, it's a Wednesday, uh, March on. We'll start doing uh, qigong again on Sundays at 9 a.m. Just once or twice a month. But it's designed so that you can learn how to do this stuff so you can do it at home. You can pull up some Qigong on YouTube. Now, why do I drag people to this beautiful beach? Why do I drag people to this beautiful beach? It's because it's so important to be at the beach. We put our feet in the ground and we, um, you know, we do our earthing. Your feet have to be on the ground. So that's another video that I talked about. But I just want everyone to know that if your desire is to become a mommy and daddy, you want to make sure that you are part you are part of the world your feet are grounded you want to make sure that you're eating right you i'm obviously heavy promoting qigong and chinese medicine chinese medicine is the reason why i naturally conceived my children 30 36 and 43. um the last couple of weeks i've had three positive three pregnancy tests three positive pregnancies two natural one ivf and a couple of, and a month ago or so there were four pregnancy tests four positive pregnancies three ivf one iui that my systems are working and follow the systems follow the systems and um it's not just cutting out alcohol and stuff like that i don't i actually don't tell anyone to cut out alcohol i i don't say cut any cut this out cut that out. i don't do that i tell people focus on this focus on that i have my patients texting me um, with blue pen, white paper, I have them writing things, their mindset, doing the qigong, the acupuncture. And it may seem like a lot of work. Yes, and I don't take all fertility patients. I don't. I don't take everyone that texts me or emails me or calls me. I have a pretty strict um, screening process. And the reason why is because I am committed to making people mommies and daddies. Positive pregnancy test is nice. But women can have miscarriages and women who have lost babies, you know, it can be very, very devastating. And um, I don't want that for anyone. I want people to feel like they are strong and healthy and powerful. And so that when they do conceive, they know it's going to go to a full term pregnancy. When I was pregnant at 36 years old, they were concerned. When I was pregnant, naturally at 43, how do you think they treated me? I had to write a letter to um, my medical, to my hospital, and so that my records will be 
um, forever in the system to say, I understand your concern, but I've decided to keep my baby. So would you kindly refrain from calling me a high risk mother? Because I was treating myself almost every day as a pregnant woman, 36 years old and 43 with my second and third. I treated myself almost every day. I believe I look very young. I act very young and I have tremendous energy. I woke up before everyone in the house and I'm typically, I'm a business owner, so I typically go to sleep after everyone. I have tremendous energy. I have tremendous energy and Qigong is one of those things. And coming out here and having my patients do beautiful Qigong on the beach, I did it today on a Wednesday because I'm in school. This, um, this semester I'm taking two classes and one of the classes is only on Sundays at nine in the morning. So beginning in March, we're gonna go back to doing Qigong once or twice a month on Sunday mornings at 9 a.m. It is imperative, it is powerful, and it's not just to have a baby, it's to be strong and powerful. There's no negative side effects from Qigong. You get stronger legs, you breathe better, you have stronger lung capacity. And doing, I specifically choose the beach so that we are getting vitamin D, so we're under the sun, so you're outside your office, you're outside your house, you are breathing fresh air. If you wanna wear a mask out here in the beach, you are welcome to. No one is gonna be by you. We're like 10, 20 feet apart from everyone. You're at least six feet apart. This is where you get healthy. You want to have strong lung capacity. And today it was a smaller class because it's a Sunday and uh, it's a Wednesday. Usually the Sundays are a little more, um, it's, it was, we had a great turnout the last Sunday, but when it's a smaller class, I really break down why we're doing certain things and I hold certain positions. So if you're familiar with yoga, it's not just doing a bunch of yoga poses. It's really understanding and living in that pose. Same thing with Qigong, you wanna understand, I don't wanna to go too far into that, but I just really want people to feel like breathing deeply is a huge part of becoming super healthy. Being under the sun is super important for being really healthy. Getting out of your office is very important for being healthy. Not being so inundated with work is super important for being healthy. And this video is especially for my fertility patients. Three out of three positive pregnancy tests. And one of them is a medical provider and she has her own practice. And I hope to God that um, her pregnancy goes to full term. I have a protocol for uh, pregnancy. And one of the things that she did was she lowered her hours, she lessened her hours and she, she lessened her hours and obviously she probably made less money in regards to the, um, the medical practice she owns. It's just her, just like me, uh, we're private practitioners. She doesn't have any other dentist, but she listened to my other videos and she really understood something. If you keep focusing on your work, you're gonna get more of that. So I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great time. I hope that you do visit the beach and I hope you practice Qigong. I hope you come visit me in my practice at elementsinharmonyacupuncture.com. I hope that you take the herbs that I prescribe you. And I hope that you do acupuncture the right way. Um, and I hope that you really put your energy into living a stronger, healthier lifestyle. So I'm just gonna show you the ocean one more time. I want you to PM me and ask me when the next Qigong class is gonna be in March. It's not gonna be the first Sunday. It's gonna be one of the other Sundays. It's gonna be at nine in the morning and it's here in Orange County. It's gonna be a lot of fun and uh, there's nothing better you can do for yourself at nine in the morning. This is, you can go to church after. Uh, the churches are open again. You can go to church after, or this can be your church, or you can go to church before, if it's at 7.30 and then come here after. This is a powerful place to be in alignment with mother nature. All right, take care, have a great day.